I'm Judy Royal from the Royal Treatment, and this is Food for Thought for the week of August 25th. Oh, I'm so excited. We are taking a new direction uh, with our weekly videos uh, with virtues, the gifts of character. I sent out a video on the weekend uh, outlining uh, the changes that we're going to make and the direction we're going to take. And so I will give you that link at the bottom of the frame, just in case you missed it. And so the card that I chose on behalf of all of us is accountability. <clears throat> accountability is the willingness to stand in responsibility for every choice. It is acting with integrity, doing what we say we will do. When we make a mistake, we do not seek to hide it or avoid it. We have the courage to face it willingly. We are open to the lessons it can bring and ready to make amends. With accountability, people can rely on us because we are answerable for our actions. We appreciate both the good we have done and the good to be gleaned from the choices that do not turn out right. We are guided by our highest standards. And so there's another side to this coin as well, and that is, what is it that we do when we point our finger at someone else or a situation that we feel is happening to us. And we have a tendency to not take responsibility in that case, and we become victims. And that's a very hard place to get out of to move forward in life. And, and so uh, what we end up doing is creating the same pattern, repeating the same mistakes, because we never really take accountability for what we do and say. And then we wonder why, why does this always happen to me? There is another way of looking at accountability, too, and that is, what do you do when you feel that there is something happening to you that you have no control over? What is it that you do in that circumstance? How do you take accountability when it's really not you perpetrating that situation? Well, I just happen to have a story. My next-door neighbor has a beautiful lawn. It is huge and she cuts that by hand with a push mower. So she's very proud of her work. Uh, but what was happening uh, at the beginning of the summer was there was a truck that would come up the bend uh, early morning hours, two or three in the morning, always on a Friday or a Saturday night, and miss the bend of the road and drive right across her front lawn. And when it came up from the other way, I'm also on that bend, they would drive across my property. But of course it didn't matter as much because I have stone landscaping. And so uh, over the course of uh, several weekends, there were deep ruts of tires in her front lawn and this infuriated her. She felt violated. She felt that her privacy had been invaded and she felt that she had been disrespected. And so uh, there were a number of ideas um, or reactions or responses that were discussed. But I asked her, I said, now, I know you're really upset about this, but what is it that you could do that would change that outcome so that it wouldn't be possible for them to do that? And so she thought about that for a minute and she thought about her brother-in-law across the pond was actually digging out a basement to put an addition on his house. And in so doing, they unearthed these huge mammoth boulders. They were monstrous. And so she had them delivered in a front, a front end loader. And I could hear them rattling all the way down the road. And so five of them were positioned across the front of her property. And they did look formidable. And in Ontario, you would never do that. It would look a little strange in a subdivision. But here in Newfoundland, it's quite natural. And so she stood back, folded her arms, and said, Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it, buddy. And so, of course, that never happened again. And so, by doing that, she took, account she took responsibility. She was accountable for a situation she had no control over. And, and didn't provoke in the first place. But she found a resolution and a, a way to solve the problem. And so she was able to move on with her life with a smile on her face. And so with that, I will um, 
share with you the practice of accountability in the form of affirmations and I will also share them on the screen uh, but I'll also read them to you. I take responsibility for my choices. I have the humility to face my mistakes. I am a lifelong learner. I make amends. I weigh both positive and negative outcomes and I live up to my sense of justice. So I'll leave that for you to reflect and ponder on and perhaps you might even want to journal an experience that you've had where you've had to become accountable for what you've said and done and how did that turn out for you? And I will end with this bit of gratitude. I am thankful for the gift of accountability. It is my moral high ground. And with that, bye for now.